Hi there, welcome back to Chats with Chels. It's August 29th and today's topic is platters. I love a good platter and there is so much deliciousness happening right here. I reckon in today's age though that plattering could be an actual sport. There's a competitive marketplace for it and they've got to be inventive and creative and everything's so bright and colourful and coordinated on the plate. And if you see the ones at events, the ones that just go for days, they seem endless. It's like the table's 12 metres long and it's completely packed with all these delicious, amazing goodies. But apparently there is a formula to a good platter. You've got to have your dips and then cheeses, a soft cheese, a hard cheese, an orange cheese, and then your accents, which are your strawberries and olives and nuts and things. And that's it. So what I've got in this one right here is the dips. I've got a pesto basil, a hummus, a spring onion, and then for the cheeses, I've got a brie, a gouda, which is a blue cheese, and a cream cheese with pistachios and honey. And then the accents, all the goodies around the outside, I've got activated charcoal crackers. They're fancy, but they're really delicious. And I've got walnuts, prosciutto, which is my absolute fave, and the bowl of olives in the middle. Mm, this is gonna be so good. My housemates and I are gonna devour this very, very soon. But what do you think of your own plattering skills? Are you the expert in your group of friends and you're like, yeah, I'm number one at plattering? Or have you gotta learn the ropes still? I'm getting there. Some people just have this gift when they present their food. But no, I'm pretty satisfied with this one. But we'd love to see some of the platters you've put together, so please do share. We all love a good platter.